Bonjour everyone. My name is Shikha Nayar and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Your learning is always easy. In today's video, I am going to solve the exercises of lesson number 5 of a Pranola Francais Method 2 book. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's begin. So we are going to solve today the exercises of lesson number 5 of Apprenola Francais Method 2 book. So let's see what's the first exercise. The first exercise says that complete les phrases avec les mois ou les saisons donné. That means complete the sentences with the months or the seasons that are given. So the first sentence says that au mois de dash il fait chaud en Inde. That means in the month of dash it's hot in India. So in which month it's hot in India? So we will write down Au mois de mai So in the month of May Il fait chaud en an Second one it's written En dash il neige That means in dash it snows So in été, avril or hiver So we will write down En hiver il neige That means in winter it snows Then third one it's written J'aime bien la France au dash that means I love France, I love France more or I like France more in which season. So we will write down J'aime bien la France au printemps. So France is very very beautiful in the month of spring. Then fourth one it's written Au mois de dash il fait chaud en Australie. That means in the month of dash it's hot in Australia. So in which month it's hot in Australia? That is décembre. So we will write down au mois de décembre, il fait chaud en Australie. Last one is la mousse en Inde commence au mois de dash, il pleut. That means the monsoon in India starts in the month of dash and it rains. So in which month the monsoon starts in India? That is juillet. So that is July. So we will write down la mousse en Inde commence au mois de juillet, il pleut. That means it rains. Now let's move to the next exercise. The next exercise says that complete les phrases avec le verb faire. So in this lesson, we learned another irregular verb that is faire. And now we have to complete the sentences with the conjugation of faire. So the first one is qu'est-ce que tu fais? Qu'est-ce que tu fais? That means what are you doing? So fair means to do or to make or what are you making. So qu'est-ce que tu fais? That means what are you making or what are you doing? And the person replies, je fais un gâteau. That means I'm making a cake. Second one, à quelle heure nous faisons nos devoirs? That means at what time we are doing our work. So the person replies, d'abord vous faites une promenade. That means first you do a walk. Ensuite, on fait ses devoirs. And then we will do or we do his work. Then third one it's written, Il font de la gymnastique. That means they do gymnastic. And the person replies, We may fait attention s'il vous plaît. Yes, but pay attention. But do pay attention please. Okay. Then fourth one is written, Esk il fait froid? That means, is it cold today? Esk il fait froid? Is it cold? So, he says, no, il ne fait pas froid, j'ai chaud. That means, no, it's not cold, I'm feeling hot. So, fair verb is not only used to make the sentences with the, with the meaning do or to make, but apart from that, fair verb is also used to describe the weather in French. Then, fifth one is written, Qui fait la cuisine? That means who is making the dinner. Then, or dinner, or you can say the cuisine. Then the person replies, Elles font la cuisine aujourd'hui. That means they are making the dinner today. Not the dinner, you can say uh, the meal. Okay. Then after that, let's go to the third exercise. The third exercise says that, Complete avec les adjectives. Color, les adjective, the cooler. So you have to complete the sentences with the adjectives of color. So first one is written, il pleut, le ciel est dash. 
that means it's raining the sky is so the, in this exercise the answers may vary from person to person okay it's your choice or you can just copy the same answers which i have written so according to me if it's raining the sky is gray so i have written l c l a gray second one ilia de fleur dash dans le jardin so i have written ilia de fleur rose dans le jardin that means there are red uh, sorry there are pink rose pink flowers in the garden third one les cerises sont rouges so les cerises are the cherries so that's the same so the cherries are red fourth one ma voiture a ma voiture means my car so i have written ma voiture a bleu that means my car is blue fifth one is c'est le printemps les feuilles sont dash c'est le printemps that means it's spring les feuilles les feuilles means the leaves so the leaves are green so i will write down les feuilles sont vert sixth one is written le lait est dash what's le lait le lait is milk so i have written le lait est blanc that means the milk is white seventh one j'ai les cheveux dash that means i have Which color here? So I have written here jelly shav maro. That means I have brown color here. Eighth one is jam la couleur dash. That means I love which color? So I have written jam la couleur jaune. I love yellow color. Ninth one is mon livre de français est dash. That means my French book is of which color? So I have written mon livre de français est bleu, blanc, rouge. So you can write down the colors whichever book is yours. Tenth one is written au printemps le ciel est dash au printemps that means in spring the sky is blue so i have written le ciel est bleu now let's move to the next exercise the next exercise says that conjuguer les verbes donner that means conjugate the verbs that are given in the bracket so the first one verb is given jete which means to throw so i have written tu jette ce journal that means you throw these newspapers Second one, no ne jeto pale journo. That means we don't throw the newspapers. Third one, no zashito le livre. That means we buy the books. Fourth one, il zashet le kaye. That means they buy the notebooks. Fifth one, elle appelle le professeur. That means she calls the professor. Sixth one, vous Zaple les étudiants. That means you call the students. Seventh one, Jacques et Mireille commence la classe. That means Jacques et Mireille they start the class. Eighth one, nous commençons la classe. That means we start the class. Ninth one, il fait chaud en été. That means it's hot in summer. Tenth one, elles font le devoir. that means they do the work so you should be aware with the conjugation of all the verbs to complete such type of exercises let's move to the next exercise the next exercise is mete o negative mete o negative that means you have to make the sentences into the negative the first one is vous avez des bonbons that means do you have candies the negative will be vous n'avez pas de bonbons So a uh, yun de becomes the in the negative. Second one, yashet a cryo. The negative will be je nashet pa the cryo. Third one, il zon de kaiye. The negative will be il no pa the kaiye. That means they don't have the notebooks. Fourth one, je suis étudiant means I'm student. The negative will be je ne suis pa étudiant. So here N E should come. I have written by mistake. There's a typing error. So here has to be je ne N E je ne suis pas étudiant. Fifth one, il y a une table. The negative will be il n'y a pas de table. Sixth one, il regarde le tableau. That means they watch the board. So or the painting, you can say the negative will be il ne regarde pas le tableau. They are not what looking at the board. Seventh one, il commence la leçon. That means they start the lesson. The negative will be il ne commence pas la leçon. Eighth one, le professeur donne des stylos. That means the teacher give the pen. The negative will be 
the professor na don pat the stylo that means the professor doesn't give the pens ninth one je mange des chocolat that means i eat some chocolates the negative will be je ne mange pas de chocolat i don't eat chocolates tenth one ce sont des glaces au chocolat that means these are chocolate ice creams and the negative will be ce ne sont pas des glaces au chocolat these are not chocolate ice creams now let's move to the next exercise the sixth exercise The sixth exercise says that responde o questions. So we have to respond to the questions that are given. So the very first question says that combien de mois y a-t-il dans une année? What does it mean? Combien de means how many? Mois mois means months. Y a-t-il y a-t-il means il y a il y a. Oh, there's a way of writing il y a in the question form that is y a-t-il. So the how many months are there dans une année? That means in a year. So there are how many months in a year? So we will reply by saying we will say, il y a douze mois dans une année. That means there are twelve months in a year. Let's move to the second question. The second question says that nommez les douze mois de l'année. That means name the twelve months of the year. So we will write down the answer: janvier, février, mars, avril, mai, juin, juillet. Oud, September, October, November, and December. So there has to be a circumflex over you. Make sure you put that. Then third one, it says that combien de jours y a-t-il dans une semaine? That means how many days are there in a week? So we will write the answer. Il y a sept jours dans une semaine. That means there are seven days in a week. Fourth question says that nomme les jours de la semaine. That means name the days of the week. So we will write down the answer: lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, and dimanche. Last question says that nomme les quatre saisons. That means name the four seasons. So we will write down: l'été, le printemps, l'automne, and l'hiver. Now let's move to the next question. The seventh question says that complete avec les expressions de faire. So we have learned certain expressions of faire also in this chapter, and we have to complete this exercise with the expressions of faire. So first one is written c'est mon anniversaire, ma mère dash. That means it's my birthday and my mother. So we will write down ma mère fait un gâteau. That means my mother makes a cake for me. Second one will be on a day il fait chaud en Inde et on Arabie Saoudite. That means in summer it's hot in India and in Saudi Arabia. Third one it's written nous sommes dans les Alpes nous faisons du ski. That means we are in the mountains that is the Alps mountain and we do the ski. Fourth one elle va dans le parc elle fait une promenade. That means she is in the park and she do the walking. Fifth one, je porte a chandelle. Il fait froid. That means I am wearing a sweater. Il fait froid. It's cold. Let's move to the next exercise. The next exercise says that que font il? Que font il? That means what are they doing? So you have to look at the picture and you have to explain what the person is doing in that picture. In the first one, you can see that the boys are playing. So we will say, "Il font du football." So they are playing football. In the second picture, you can see she is making a cake. So we will write down, "Elle fait un gâteau." That means she is making a cake. In the next picture, you can see they are doing walking. So we will write down, "Il font une promenade." That means they are doing a walk. In the next picture, the person is doing his work, so we will write down il fait ses devoirs. That means he is doing his work. In the next picture, the uh, persons are doing skiing, so we will write down il font du ski. That means they are doing the ski. In the last picture, you can see the girls are doing yoga, so we will write down il font du yoga. Now let's move to the next exercise. 
So the next exercise says that conjugate the verb au présent de l'indicatif. So we have to conjugate the verbs in the present form. So if the first one is written commence la classe, so the answer will be je commence la classe. That means I start the class. Second one ne pas faire la leçon. The answer will be il elle ne fait pas la leçon. That means she doesn't do the lesson. Then third one, appelle a garçon. The answer is, il appelle a garçon. That means he calls a boy. Fourth one, ne pas acheter de fruits. The answer is, elle n'achète pas de fruits. That means they don't buy the fruits. Fifth one, jete les papiers. That means throw the papers. The answer is, je jette les papiers. That means I throw the papers. Now for this exercise, the answers may vary from person to person. You can make your own answers or you can just copy the same. Now let's move to the 10th exercise. The 10th exercise says that the crive votre saison préféré or sees or sank phrase. So you have to describe your favorite season in five to six sentences. So I wrote, mon saison préfère est le printemps. That means my preferred or my favorite season is spring. Dans le printemps, le ciel est bleu. That means in spring, the sky is blue. Les oiseaux chantent et le temps est beau et agréable. That means the birds they sing and the weather is beautiful and you can say very nice. The last I say, les arbres sont verts et aussi il y a mon anniversaire. So I have written, les arbres sont verts, that means the trees are green and also it's my birthday in that season. So that's why I love spring season. So you can write down your favorite season also and you can write down your lines as well. Now let's move to the next exercise. So in the next exercise, it's a that's a listening exercise. It says that écoutez et complétez le bulletin météo en France. That means listen and complete the weather report of France. So let's complete it together. So I say, dans l'air de la France, il fait froid avec des chutes de neige. That means in the in the you can say in the east side of France. It's dans l'air. That means in the east side of France. Il fait froid, that means it's cold, avec des chutes de neige, with snowfall. Au massif central, au massif central, et à la région Rons Al, il y a des, nu des nuages, il y a des nuages, that means in the massive central and the region of the Alps, il y a des nuages, that means there are clouds. En course, il y a, il y a la pluie, and en course, it's raining. It rains. Sur l'ouest, that means in the west du pays, le temps est plus calm avec un vent modéré. So it means that in the west of the pay of the country, the weather is calm avec un vent modéré with a wind with a moderate, you can say, little bit of wind. Vent is wind. Now let's move to the last exercise of this lesson. The last exercise says that devine écrivez et collez la bonne image en utilisant les autocollants. Okay, so devine écrivez, devine écrivez. That means we have to write the sentences also, and we have to put the stickers that are given at the last. So we have to match the stickers also with the sentences. So they have given first example. For example, they have given the first, it's written, Il pleut et les feuilles tombent. That means it rains and the leaves fall. C'est l'automne. That's autumn. So they have pasted a picture of autumn. Now let's move to the first one. Il fait chaud le soleil brille. C'est l'été. So, il fait chaud. Il fait chaud, that means it's hot. The sun is bright. Obviously, it's going to be summer. So paste a picture or the sticker that is related with summer at the back. Second one I have written, Je m'appelle La Joconde et aussi. So my name is La Joconde et aussi Mona Lisa. So and also Mona Lisa. So to Mona Lisa we say La Joconde. Okay. And paste the picture of Mona Lisa. Third one, Il neige et la terre est blanche. That means it snows and the earth is white. 
say leave air so when it snows and the earth is white so it is winter so we will write down we will paste a sticker related with the winter fourth one say lani were said the mirai so it's the birthday of mirai el fe a gato that means she makes a cake so make paste the picture of a lady making a cake fifth one il fe bo that means it's a nice weather je fe yun promenade dans le parc that means i do a walk in the garden or in the park so with this we have completed the exercises of lesson number 5 of a pranal of france method 2 book so that was all for today so i hope the exercises of this lesson were clear to you so if you want to solve more exercises and more books with me then stay connected to my channel by subscribing it and don't you forget to give your likes and your comments on my videos because your appreciation means a lot to me So till the time I post my next video of va and abianto and you know it very well what does over means over means goodbye and abianto means see you soon